Good morning, I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make cinnamon rolls. My version of quick and easy homestyle cinnamon roll is crusty, light and soft. It's a perfect treat filled with buttery, sweet and savory flavors. This lovely and scrumptious pastry will sure boost your appetite and will instantly put you in a happy mood with every bite. So, let's get started! Good morning, I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. For the dough, we're gonna need 2 and 3 4 cups of all-purpose flour, 2 and 1 4 teaspoons of active dry yeast, quarter of a cup of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, half a cup of lukewarm water, quarter of a cup of lukewarm milk, 2 tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, and 1 egg. For the filling, we'll need 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 1 tablespoon of cinnamon powder, 2 third cups of brown sugar, and 50 grams of softened butter. For the vanilla glaze, we'll need 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 tablespoons of melted butter, 2 tablespoons of milk, and 3 fourth cups of powdered sugar. Combine the water and milk together, then pour the mixture in a bowl. Add a teaspoon of sugar and add in the yeast. Stir and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes until it's foamy and the yeast is activated. When the yeast is proved, add the melted butter, egg, sugar, and salt. Mix until the ingredients are well combined. Gradually add the flour and use a hard spoon to mix the ingredients. Then use your hands and begin to knead the dough inside the bowl. Make sure that your hands are clean. You may also use a stand mixer or a hand mixer if it's available. Flour a clean workspace. Transfer the dough and continue to knead for about 8 to 10 minutes or until the dough is nice and smooth and elastic. If the dough doesn't spring back when pressed with a finger or tears when you pull it, it needs more kneading. If it springs back immediately when lightly pressed and it doesn't tear when you pull it, then it's ready for proofing. Pour the dough into a bowl and place it in a slightly buttered bowl. I recommend just using the same mixing bowl to save some dishwashing time. Cover the bowl with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen cloth. Let the dough rise for an hour or until it has doubled in size. And while waiting for the dough, let's make the filling. Combine sugar, cinnamon powder, and vanilla extract. And just mix it all together. When the dough has risen, turn to your floured workspace and transfer the dough. Dust the dough with a little bit of flour and begin to flatten it. Press it down to release the air from the dough. Lightly flour your rolling pin and use it to form the dough into a rectangular shape. When you've achieved the perfect rectangular shape, brush the dough with a softened butter. If you like your cinnamon roll real soft and moist, don't hold back on the butter and spread them nice and evenly. Now grab your cinnamon sugar mixture and sprinkle them on top of the butter. Then carefully roll it out. It is very important to get a tight roll on the dough. Gently press down as you roll the dough. I like to have even individual sizes of cinnamon rolls, so I'm using a very sharp knife to make marks before cutting them in pieces. You can start in the middle, divide and mark the dough to your preferred individual sizes. When you're ready to cut, use a string to avoid crushing the rolls and ruining the swirl. Arrange the cinnamon rolls with spaces in between on a slightly buttered baking tray. Cover them with a plastic wrap and a clean kitchen cloth. Let it rest for about an hour. After an hour, the cinnamon rolls have doubled in size. Before we bake them, just gently brush the buns with some melted butter on top. The butter will add flavor and will make the crust nice and golden brown. Now preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius for 5 to 10 minutes. It's time to bake! Place the baking tray in the middle rack and bake the cinnamon rolls for about 18 to 20 minutes. 
And while the cinnamon rolls are baking, let's make the vanilla glaze. In a bowl, combine powdered sugar, vanilla extract, melted butter, and milk. Mix well until smooth. If you happen to have a small tip squeeze bottle, I recommend transferring the vanilla glaze into it. The tiny hole of this bottle will make it easier to drizzle the glaze over the cinnamon rolls and any leftover glaze is ready for storing. The cinnamon rolls are done when the exterior appear golden brown and the rolls feel firm when touched. Take it out from the oven and let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. When the buns have cooled, transfer them in a serving plate and drizzle the vanilla glaze on top. Cinnamon buns are great when served at room temperature, but personally, I think that eating them warm is definitely the best way to enjoy them. These cinnamon buns are so delicious, I highly recommend doubling the recipe so you can make a bunch and freeze them. Simply flash freeze the cinnamon rolls on the pan, pop them in the freezer, and when they're individually frozen, you can transfer them into an airtight freezer-safe bag or a container. To thaw, you can either leave them at room temperature until they are soft or leave them in the fridge for a couple of hours and then you can reheat them in a microwave for 25 to 30 seconds. For the leftover vanilla glaze, store them in the fridge. It's time to dig in! And as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching! If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!